Okay, g'day, I'm Richard Kavanagh, and uh, here is my game. Richard Kavanagh is my name, and here is my game. Here we go. I'm going to show you today a really cute way and a really simple way to create a loose, soft, bohemian wave. When we've finished that, I'm going to show you three different ways to finish it. One of those is going to be kind of a beachy, tousled feel. One of those is going to be a little bit more cocktail. And the last look is going to be a little bit more catwalk, just with that kind of ethereal flyaways. So before we start, I'm just going to uh, show you uh, three different tong sizes and what's going to happen when you use your different size tongs. Now, we're working with curling tongs and they come in multiple sizes. The smaller the tong, like this one, this is a small one, is going to give you a tight, crisper curl. And then the bigger the tong, like this one, is going to give you a much softer wave. I'm going to work with a medium sized curling tong and using my hands, roughly, Take a vertical parting around about yay wide and around about that long. No comb, no sectioning clips. You're going to hold your hair out from the head like that and then gently drop it down to below the horizontal. So if you're lifting the hair out to the horizontal like this, you're going to get a little bit more volume. And if you lift it up above the horizontal like this, you're going to get even more volume. So for this look, we don't want any volume, so we're going to drop it below the horizontal. Then we're going to use a vertical curling tong. That means we're going to hold it vertically like that and simply wrap the hair around the tong. Hold a couple of inches of the end straight and don't try and tuck it inside the tongue. We're just leaving the tongue closed. Starting the curl from about three or four inches away from the scalp. Hold it for five to seven seconds. So again, I've just come up, take a vertical parting like that hold that hair roughly out from the head and this time what I'm going to do is get Shannon to try this out. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what you're going to do is with your left hand take the hair there, perfect, come up and over your head like so. Now wrap that hair around the barrel of the tongue. And a little bit more and just wind your fingers on the tongue there. That's about five to seven seconds and then just drop it out. Perfect. Okay. What I'm going to do now is show you how to get a little bit more hold in this and a little bit more shine. If you want to add some heat protection, create some extra shine and give you a little bit stronger hold, we're going to work with this Redken Heat Styling Fabricate. It's a heat active texturizer and you can see the big number three. Basically what that means is that it's three times stronger than water. So a light spray on there, a vertical tong. Wrap it around, wrap the hair around the tongue. Let it set for approximately seven seconds. Possibly you can see that little bit of steam coming off there. That's just the product being heated and the alcohol in the product evaporating. That's a good sign. It means that you're giving your hair a level of heat protection. And we let that go. And you can see with that one that we've just got a bit of extra shine and a bit of extra strength in there. Now a hot tip is to alternate the direction that you're winding the hair around the tongue. Right? So one section you're going to wind clockwise, the next section you're going to wind counterclockwise. That gives you a much more natural and slightly more random feeling curl. So that one was counterclockwise, this one we're going to go clockwise. Let that heat activated styler do its work. Let the heat do its work in the hair, and release. I'm going to get you to do this side, so hold that in your left hand, hold that in your right hand, then you're going to come up and <laughs> over your head like that, and hold the barrel of the tong straight down. For you, you're going to go back around the tong. Oh, perfect. Look at that. It's like a pro. That's going to make the shape of the curl sweep this way, and then down around your face. Because you've got this fringe, that gives you some hair to sit around here, so that curl's just gonna kick around there. If you've got more of a pear-shaped face, you want the hair to drop in, uh, you, you wanna wind it backwards so that the wave comes around this part of your face. If you've got more of an oval face and you prefer to have your hair back off your face, then you're gonna wind it the opposite direction. That means you're gonna wind the hair forward around the top. Okay, just let that go. 
done the back for you, but I'm going to show you how to do the back because that's the bit where people sometimes get a bit tangled up. Right? So there's two options. If you've got heaps of hair and you want to make it a bit easier for yourself, put your little fingers in on the back of your head just above your ears. Separate the back of your head into two parts. Then you can take that up there and you can clip it and that gives you much less hair to work with at the back. So do you want to take your left hand, keep the tongue in your right hand, take your left hand, index finger up like that, and just run it along your scalp up that way to take a loose section. There you go. Okay, hold that out like so. Now come up and over your head. Perfect. And wrap the hair around the tongue. Now this is the first time you've done this, right? First time ever. Okay. How easy is it? That was pretty easy. Yeah. You can get used to it. And just drop that away. So you're going to work all the way through there in probably three or four sections. And then drop that top hair down and do exactly the same thing through the top. And like that. Now, here's the key. When you're working at the back or at the front, when you're working on the left hand side of your head, you want to hold the tongue in your right hand and bring it up and over. Then if you're going to work on the right hand side of your head, you hold the tongue in your left hand so that the barrel of the tongue is pointing straight down. What that does as well is it makes it much harder for you to burn yourself because this thing's pretty hot right it's up to yeah. 200 degrees Celsius so you don't want to be kind of waving it around your face. Because you've got a little fringe there you can do a couple of things you can either leave that fringe out straight and then when you drag that down it just works in or if you want to put a bit, little bit of bend in that what we're going to do is split that in half and just massage that fringe with the tong to put a little bit of bend and heat into it. Okay, just to use the heat to put a slight little bit of bend. See, it's just got a slight little tiny little bit of bend in there. And the other side, again, just going to use the tong to massage that and put a tiny little bit of bend in it with the heat. Now that's the foundation of the hairdo done. So if you want to have a loose beachy feel, what you're going to do now is take your hands, I'll let you do this, form claws, put the balls of your hands on the scalp and run your hands through your hair like so. Right, give it a good, yep, there you go. Drag them all the way through and just break that curl up. Great. Cool, huh? Yeah. Okay, so that gives you that beachy textured feel. If you want to make that a little bit more evening, we're going to take a little Mason Pearson style brush with a boar bristle and nylon combination brush it all the way through just to give you a slightly more soft evening feel and it's nice because it feels like it's natural wave natural curl just brushed out that's going to bounce and move naturally like natural hair then if you want to add a little catwalk spin to this here take the back of your hand and just rub it across the surface of the hair to create that light fly away movement. So many people want to fight the flyaways. It actually can be a very romantic kind of feel. As simple as that, five minutes.